So Tasha, I wanna make sure we caught what you just revealed because I wasn't able to listen to all of it at the moment and I wanna hear it. I know the ratings are gonna shoot up after this episode. <laughs> yeah. And then Big T, you are killing me right now. You're hilarious. Uh, and you're so hilarious right now. <laughs> Hey, it's your girl Devin Simone, and welcome to another episode of The Challenge Aftermath. I'm here with the cast of The Challenge, Amanda, Ed, Nelson, and Tommy. And dialing in from the UK, we have Big T. And all the way from Nigeria, we have Tacha. Welcome, challengers. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Woo. 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 What an episode. Woo. Tacha, I'm going to get to you uh, and your choice words for Tori. Uh, but first, I want to acknowledge the shows we have represented in this episode, you guys. We've got Are You the One with Amanda and Nelson. Yeah. We have The Circle with my man Ed. Yes. We have Survivor with Tommy. We have Shipwrecked with Big T, and we have Big Brother Nigeria with Tasha, <laughs> and I'm here repping the real world Brooklyn. Hey. This Woo! is the crossover of crossovers, you guys. We have it all, and this is what makes the challenge so great and so unique. Okay, it's great to have you guys here. I'm so excited, and Tasha, welcome to your first time Yay. on The Aftermath, and same with Tommy. That's you it. guys, you're officially in the family. Uh, Tasha, you have a really big social media fan base. Word on the street is they are blowing up the challenge social media media accounts. Thanks, sis. What are the Tasha Titans saying about you and your first appearance on the challenge? They are blowing up. They're so freaking excited. They've really been looking forward to having Tasha back on the screen. It's a great feeling for I myself and for my fans. What does it take to be a Tasha Titans? What are they like? Literally loving Tasha with no conditions. Tasha is always right. So yeah. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing I would do that they will call me out for. So yeah, it's like everything she does, that's right, right, right. So Love a meal conditionally, I would say that. If you are going against okay. Tasha this season, the challenge, beware, because those Titans are going to come after you. Tommy, you just came off of a big Survivor win. What's it like? Congratulations, by the way. Thank you, that's, appreciate That's that. pretty boss. What's Thank it you. like going into your first challenge? You know, as a Survivor winner, I was coming in a little cocky. I was like, all right, I know the social manipulation. I could do this. I starved on an island. I did it without a bed and sleep, and now I get luxury. I get a pool. I could do it. But damn, after day one, these guys put me in my place and I realized these people have been their best mans at weddings. They have such long ties for years. And now I'm coming in as a newbie trying to break up Nelson and Corey. That this is not gonna happen. You damn right it's not gonna happen. Different <laughs> ball game, but it was so cool because I'm a fan of this show to be out there and uh, rocking it with some of these legends. Yeah, now you're part of the family. Can't get rid of us. It's crazy as hell. I'm yeah. warning you now. But, <laughs> but you're here and you're in it. Ed, you have a little dinner date with Tori to get to know each other better. We found this bowl of cabbage, right? And it was just untouched bowl of cabbage. Good nutrients. So yeah, we, we ripped the top off it, said, look, we're going to go share a dinner date as new partners, we're gonna talk over our strategy where I don't think we talked any strategy at all. What did you talk about? Cabbage. <laughs> you like it? No. It was the most nonsense conversation. Was it romantic at all? You mean like from like a... Not you to the cabbage. You and Tori <laughs> talking over this dinner date. Yeah, it's a partnership. It's like a, a business venture. She, uh, but she was trying to get with you though. You I'm weren't trying to get with her, but... Oh. I don't know, man. No, she and said that. I mean, she, she said, said that. She makes she it clear in the episode that she's attracted yeah, to she's you. Yeah, she's like, Ed's and hot. She said, I am handsome. Attractive. Yeah. I think it's the Philly accent. It's irresistible to all women. I feel like most people wouldn't say that. Do you feel like... <laughs> No, but do you did you pick up on those vibes at all then? Or is this news to you that like Tori thought you were attractive? No, during the cabbage date, I thought we were just being goofy idiots because that's the way we are. I you mean, you were more in love with the cabbage. The cabbage, not Tori. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. We're doing. <laughs> I feel like you're blushing over there. And how do you feel like you and Tori work together as a team? Oh, I think we worked great. Yeah. I think we completely like understand each other. We're on the same wavelength. I called ourselves Hog and Daz, like the gruesome twosome. Yeah, we got like two heads that are like one. <laughs> and I love you already. I'm so glad that you're in the challenge, family. I I can't with you. All right, let's talk about this. episode episode's mission, shall we? Your goal is to retrieve two active bombs and get them to safety. So firstly, we had to jump off this really high cliff 
down into the sea. We had to pick up a missile. Then from there, we had to kind of, you know, swim through this tunnel where we had to pick up another missile, swim back, get onto jet skis, swim to the beach, and then put the missiles onto this destination station. So when TJ announced that we had to jump off a cliff, I was just like, not again. I was really avoiding quite situation, but uh, you know, I didn't want to let Tommy down. Um, I was like trying to act not scared, but I think I didn't do a very good job of that. I couldn't ask for a better part than big team. I think my hand still hurts from her squeezing it so tight, but <laughs> anything you throw at this girl, she has some fears, but she will always try and she'll always do her best. She's the best. I love that I was partners with her. That's so oh. true, Big T. Like you have, we've seen you, you know, in other seasons too. You have so much heart and you will be terrified of something, but you give it your all and surprise us most of the time. I mean, I'm glad you've never held my hand in one of those moments, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> we appreciate that about you. Tasha, you and Jeremiah, you guys get DQ'd and get pulled out of the water. What was that like? And what was going on there? You were shaking. You were shaking jumping off that cliff. I didn't want to jump. So at that point, I'm like, like, oh, God have mercy. Like, how, how, like, what, like, who do I talk to? Should I talk to TJ and tell TJ, like, this particular challenge is not for me. I can't jump into the cliff. But everything was happening so fast and, well. You almost drowned your partner. <laughs> she was holding on to Jeremiah. Jeremiah yeah. literally told me I was like, let's go, kick him high again. Get off me, get off me, Tasha, it me. Tasha, it definitely does look like you almost killed Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> TJ blows the horn, and I'm diving right into the ocean. And it seems like it's taking over 10 minutes. I'm not getting into the water. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and then I get into the water. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. I think I heard Big T say, when you get into the water, I try to grab the rocks or something. And then next thing I'm like, okay, where's the cave? Where's the cave? Where's the cave? Let me stick onto it. I stick onto it. I turn my back. And then he's screaming, get off me, Tasha, get off me, Tasha, get off me, Tasha. Instead of grabbing the rock, she grabs like, Jeremiah no, and drowns. He's like, no, get off me, Tasha, get off me, get off me. It sounds like you thought Jeremiah was a rock. <laughs> now, uh, Scuba Nelly T. Yeah. You seem to just be rolling and really enjoying this mission. Tell me about it. Honestly, it was one of the hardest challenges, I think, because as these waves were hitting us, we didn't realize how hard it was gonna be. We thought it was gonna be an easy swim. We didn't think the cave was that long. We didn't have any helmets on. <laughs> and I think Tommy needs this right now. Yeah, yeah, man, uh, are, you, are you here? Yeah, are you here? I don't um, know what you guys are talking about. I don't remember the challenge much. And that's actually a good point. Yeah, do, do you remember most of that? I mean, cause you got hit hard. We saw a lot of you, yeah. more than we ever expected. We're not complaining, but we saw a lot. <laughs> Do you remember much of what happened at all? Or The last thing I remember swimming through the cave, looking back to see where Big T was. She's a fish out there, so she was right with me. I turned, and as like Scuba Nelly was saying, waves are hitting left and right. And the next thing I remember, I hit my head on the wall, come to, and I'm holding Big T's hand. I got throw up on me. I'm butt naked in a stretcher. And uh, I said, I'm sorry I let you down. And she said, no, you finished the challenge. The thing is, we didn't even know you were hurt, bro. Yeah. You walked away from there. Yeah. As TJ was announcing the winner, we didn't realize anything was wrong with you. We thought you were perfectly fine. We thought you just wanted to take your shorts off. I was really confused when I saw Tommy with his shorts off because we got to the destination station and his pants were down. So I didn't know if it was like a victory move or something. I was like, take my pants down. I was like, I don't know. Wait, Tommy, did you think you were concussed at that time or like? Yeah, I, I knew something was off. Okay. Once I landed, I didn't want to let her down. So I was like, I got to finish this. I put my bomb down and I instantly collapsed. And I've never felt that pain and panic. I was like, something is wrong. I need to get out of here. I need to get help. Big T wouldn't leave my side and she was holding my hand. And she was like, yeah, Tommy's not okay. It just was all a blur. Hey, I finished it. He did. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that's why you're a survivor champion. Yeah, so. I mean, not a challenge champion at this moment, but you're a survivor yeah. one because you kill it. And I'm, we're so glad to see you here and in good Thank shape, you, by yeah. the way, and that everything is okay. And what great teamwork, you two. He did so good. And I want to get to you because you and Tori, when you're now the agency, which props yes. to you. How does it feel to be with all the power? Uh, well, that was neat. Um, I didn't know that I could swim like that. I found that out. You know, I figured all my time down to Jersey Shore in the summer was gonna help. Look at that. We figured it out, we got in our groove and we ended up swimming. I think it was just because we were racing against Michelle, to be honest. 
She was fast as hell, and I went to look back. I'm like, I know we're ahead. We got to be. And she was right there, and I was like, I better go. So, I like, mean, I think, was... Ed, maybe you just need to go on more cabbage dates with your partners in the future. That's the good luck cabbage date. <laughs> Tommy, what was it like having to leave the game like that? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, are you all right? Uh, I'm leaving. No. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Me. Got a concussion. Leaving, first of all, losing I'm not used to. Second of all, leaving the way I did stinks because there's a lot of what ifs. You know, what if I didn't get hurt? Right. I was finding my footing in the game. I feel like I was connecting with people extremely like Nelson and like building alliances. So it's kind of like the what if I didn't get hurt, but you can't live life like that. If I'm gonna go out, I'll go out with a bang, naked, not remembering a thing. <laughs> hey, if it, if it happens that way, it happens that way. And uh, you know, I'm just glad to have had the experience. You definitely went out with a bang or a swing, according to some first-hand reports. So, and I know that we'll see you back because you already brought so much to the challenge, even this early on in the game. Yeah. Big T, what was it like losing your partner like that? Like, how did you feel seeing Tommy go home? Number one, I was really concerned for his health because I've never seen somebody who's had concussion like that before. Like one of his pupils was huge, the other one was tiny. So I was a bit like, Tommy, you know, I think there is something deeply wrong here. And you know, it's horrible seeing somebody going home via injury. You know, I felt so bad and I was so, Tommy and I were just such a good partnership. I loved working with him, you know. I could see him taking me to the final and you know, it was really sad. She would have took to me to the final. Oh, it was guys. really cute that watching was you not guys. Gonna happen. It that was <laughs> not gonna happen. I'm letting you know right now. Oh. When, t when we first saw Tommy at the airport, Corey and I started talking and we were already plotting against him at that moment. We was like, look at this guy. He looks like a leader. Rookies were following him around. We saw them gathered up. I was like, oh my God, we gotta take this guy out. And the fact that he was partnered with Big T, which is a social butterfly, everybody likes Big T. So yeah. how we gonna get this guy into elimination and get rid of him? So after TJ discussed and let us know the rules of the game, he's like, oh, okay, that's how we can get rid of this guy. And at first, I didn't know Tommy, you know, I didn't care for the guy, but then I ended up rooming with him. Yeah. And we were in the same room and then we built this chemistry. I was like, damn, I like this guy. Yeah. I still need to get him out the house. So basically, oh Tommy put the move. I mean, he I can did. see it. He did. I can he, see it. He I won mean, me over. He I did. felt emotional watching you leave the show and I don't even know you. So I yeah, I can see how Tommy could do. So watch out in future seasons. Yeah. I feel I mean, like, I like the now. political yeah. game of Tommy <laughs> is going to be real, real good. But let's talk a little bit about nominations, shall we? Mm. Tasha, you had to have known that getting DQ'd meant that people were gonna come for you in nominations. Did you have that expectation or were you surprised? I was expecting it as a rookie, but not because we were disqualified from the challenge. If not you, then who? Okay, so if not Jeremiah and Tasha, Michelle and Coriel. And Big T, it was interesting see because so many people like love you on the show. It was interesting seeing how many of the vets were saying that they weren't sure that they could trust you and the alliance. Why do you think that is? And do you think it's a valid concern? I mean, obviously at the time, you know, I was really irritated and annoyed by it because I actually wasn't trying to build a rookie alliance. But I guess these fears or concerns are kind of validated considering how I played the game last season. Like, you know, I did make the move to vote against Tory. But I was actually also working with other vets at the time and you know that wasn't taken into consideration. So yes, I think it really was kind of damaging to my season. Did you think that Tory was gonna throw you in? Yeah, 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 I did, I did. I did. I really did. I was like, <laughs> if I was Tory, I would have thrown me in. So I was just waiting for it. There's no reason for me to say anybody else's name except yours. If you say her name and she goes in, she is a veteran, does that, does that mean the truce is off then? Because that's what people will say. So you're saying that if, if I say Big T's name, the veteran alliance is over. Amanda, do you think that Tori made the right move regarding Big T? There was so many rookies to choose from. If Tori would have chose Big T, we were going to throw in Tori next because it was like any vet that broke that alliance, you were going to go in. So if she did that to Big T, then she would have been on the chopping block. But Big T did go on top of our list to say when it came down to vets, we were going to throw her in vet. first okay. because of that. We because we were worried she was working with the them. The rumors and... were spreading around. You know how telephone works yeah. in the house. You know, yeah. we heard Big T was starting this big alliance with the rookies. I was just being friendly. 
Hey. Yeah, Big, Big T, T comes across as really friendly. And not friendly in the same way that you're friendly, Nelson. <laughs> oh. oh, hold up, hold up, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, it's time for my favorite part of the aftermath, which is the revealing of the secret boat. Because, you know, I got friends in high places and that friend's name is TJ. And TJ provided me with all of the secret boating information for this episode. And I'm going to disclose all of that top secret drama, cause I'm petty like that. <laughs> <laughs> TJ, take it away. This season, there are spies, lies, and allies. Let's see if your fellow agents are who they said they were. Devin, go ahead and reveal the secret votes. Whoa. Priscilla voted for Josh? Priscilla lied to me. Wow. Yeah, but Priscilla yeah. was friends with Hacha. I get that, but she didn't tell me she didn't vote that way. She, I figured we voted the same way. We're partners. We all knew Tasha and Jeremiah were going to go in. I mean, typical rookie team. That was just on the block. I wish it wasn't Jeremiah. I wish it wasn't you either, Tasha. I really like you. Um, so don't come for me on social media. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did everyone vote for themselves this time? Like, Fessy voted for himself. Huey voted for himself. I just assumed everyone was going to vote for Tasha and Jeremiah. So, like, I'm quite surprised that, like, number one, Burner voted for me. Noted. I voted for myself because I didn't, I wasn't happy with the vets. I was like, they're not trusting me. I don't feel as if they're accepting me. So I'm going to vote for myself. And Tasha was my friend and I didn't feel like voting her in. Tasha, how does it feel seeing that Big T voted for herself over voting for you? Did you know that? No, I didn't. But I would do the same if I was in her shoes. I would vote me over voting Big T. Like, you can see through Big T, yeah? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, there are certain people you can see through, and then you just can't tell, oh, this is a genuine person, and that isn't a genuine person. And Big T is one of them. I really don't know how Nelson got it on this program. <laughs> no, Nelson is not a genuine person, but Big T is. I love you. I love you too, Nelson. You can still come for him on social media, though. Yeah, yeah, go. That's fine. Go ahead. You can At go Nelson. after Nelson. So let's go ahead and put these votes back into the secret vault until next time. All right, let's get into the elimination. Your goal is to build a ladder high enough to ring the bell at the top. This looked like a very difficult elimination talk show. It was brutal. It was really difficult, like... My, my whole body was swollen for a week. Your whole body was swollen for a week after that so elimination? Yeah, yeah, it was much tougher than literally it just hard. standing behind and, and cheering us through it. It was much more tougher than that. How long did it last, really? Because we only get to see a snippet of it, right? So, like, how long do you think? I think for over an hour. Yeah. Yeah. It, it lasted yes, it, yes, it lasted for over an hour or more. Nelson, we see you cheering for Berna. Yeah for obvious reasons. <laughs> and we see Ashley cheering for Tasha, which is just a hilarious dynamic to watch. What are you actually thinking in that moment? I knew like Bernard, that was her elimination. That's what she wanted. She wanted some kind of climbing, some kind of heights. When you're down there in elimination, you have all these lights on you. So people are not really thinking straight. They're thinking about what everybody else is saying and screaming and stuff like that. And I was just cheering Burner on. I really like- You weren't thinking straight or Ashley wasn't thinking straight? Oh, Ashley, <laughs> she ain't never thinking straight. <laughs> <laughs> At that moment, you, you know damn well- She's so calm. She's level-headed. I was cheering for Tasha. Hold up, Ashley, hey, we're talking about Ashley, right? The Ashley's on the yeah, show. She's, the she's so calm. Right now. You know damn well she wanted Burner to go home <laughs> because oh, yeah. of the whole situation. Oh, yeah, which, that shouldn't even mean started, honestly. They could have been friends. We could have been a happy, dysfunctional family. With sister wives? Like, this is not, we're a crossover of she a lot of shows. Ashley that would never be a one. sister wife. Tasha, you had some choice words for Tori. I didn't come to your room, Tori. Okay. Do you have anybody that you want to go against? Well, we have to give me a show. Okay. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of everybody out here. Minus you. Give us the scoop of nice. where you guys are now. Well, literally nowhere. I got from the house and I blocked her. Oh, you blocked her? Okay. So we're like, so, we're, yeah, Tasha. We we're literally nowhere. Like, mm -mm. Okay, so it sounds like you guys are moving forward. But Tosh, me and you, we're good, right? Yeah. I and Ed is cool. I mean, Ed didn't come to me to tell me, oh, Tasha, who do you think I should throw, I should throw in? Whatever you choose to do, Stick to that. If you're going to be a fake person, like be fake with your full chest. She actually never really liked me. So it was the first challenge and we had to pick partners that were chained to the briefs. I, I run into the field and I'm like, okay, one next, one next, one next. And then she comes to me and she's like, you're in my team. And then next thing, she's taking off her glasses. 
and then she put she puts it on me. She go she go um she goes to wow. go get um a sledgehammer, and she gives that to me, expecting me to start breaking the bricks with Kel. Tori gave her a sledgehammer. Was like hit our bricks. So in that moment, I'm like, okay. What is, like, what she's saying, like, it's really not adding up. I didn't hear anything about a group of three, three agents. Seems like nobody really knew that. We didn't know happened. that at all. Yeah, that was some real tea. Thank you, Tasha, for sharing that. That was some real tea. One could understand why you're already carrying this perspective in your mind, and there's a little bit of, of, of pent-up frustration when we see the fight happen. Now, Tasha, you have a way with words, and you weren't letting Tori use hers at all. You're a fake ass No, bitch. this is not true, Tasha. No, 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 that's you. No, no, no. Don't try to be any kind of way. If you don't want to hear it, no, 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 no. Tell Whatever. me, like, if you don't want to hear it, no, 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 no. Because you kept shutting her down because you were, you were exactly. mad and you're fired you up, which makes exactly. sense. Exactly, because I don't know what she wanted to say. Like, I'm talking, there's nothing you have to say. Like, listen. I said nothing. I was Smart not man. getting involved. I said, I'm going to lay low. I just got here. I don't want to start no arguments with nobody. <laughs> this wasn't my decision. Yeah. So I was like, uh, I'm just going to watch it. All watch right. it yeah. Watch. <laughs> yeah. That, and that sounds like a smart move. And what we're about to watch unfold is one of my favorite parts of the aftermath. It's game time, guys. It's the Devin Simone way the on the aftermath. So right now it is time to test your drawing skills with a classic game of Challenge Pictionary. And we are gonna get to playing, and this is very competitive. I will tell you what you will win. We, we're gonna win a prize. Oh. I can't wait to win. Not a million dollars, so I'll figure it out. <laughs> this is the final. <laughs> All right, guys, are you guys ready to play? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Makes me so excited. I love that energy, Big yeah. E. Yes. All right, <laughs> Amanda, win. you are up first, ma'am. So please hold your board up so we can see it as you draw. Okay, okay and go. Uh, a ball. Uh, a fire. A devil. Fire stick. Uh, a fire flame. candle. Candle. Hell. Uh, firebox. Fire building, fire Puzzle. truck. What'd you say? List, a list. Fire Penny window. Puzzle. Yeah. No, no. Fire uh, check. A checklist. A fire, fire a list fire of check. fire. Um, fire ballot. Is it voting? Boat. It has to do fire with voting. Boat. boat, fire boat. Fire a boat. burn boat. Yes. Burn boat. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. burn boat. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Tommy got it. Tommy got it. Tommy. That was good. That was good. Yes. Great job. A burn boat. All right, Ed. Oh. Ed. Ed's is going to be hard. Go. OK. Um. United States, the map. Oh, that. California, the, the ocean. Oh, I like oh, international, you world of Puzzle. wars. Um, international. War of the world. World, world, world. War II. International. Yes. That's the word. Yes, yeah. good job. International. Good job. Let's go. Yes, Tommy. Yes. Was hard. What the yes. You guys didn't get the experiences. Hard. You're yes. lucky I got hurt. <laughs> that, was, that was actually good. All right, this time it is Scubanelli. Oh, oh, God. All right. Go ahead. Scubanelli. <laughs> I'm scared. All right, let's see. It's going to be pretty easy. Sea bob, beach, rectangle, puzzle, a cliff. Sea <laughs> bob, jump house, cliff, cliff, cliff jump. Yes, did you Tommy. Get it? Yeah. Man, I didn't get this job. Fourth oh, graders. Oh. I know he didn't even. Finish. What's the prize again? Ten thousand dollars, right? I love wow. though. Was... I love that Ed was like rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> so you're good at guessing these, Tommy. Let's see how good you are. Finally, at we get a chance to win. This one is Tommy's. Go. <laughs> Let's go, teacher. Oh, person. First the skateboard. Uh, water bob, sea bob, skateboard. Uh, water bob, sea bob, skateboard. DJ. Oh. DJ. Yes! DJ. Good job! A what? <laughs> I love it! Let this couch has let's zero. Let's this couch has four. I know. Okay, now Big T, are you ready? Veterans? Oh, look, she's not even gonna look. Rookie Hell likes. yeah. Uh, Ooh. Helicopter. List. Rectangle. List. I don't know where uh, she's going with this. Window, window, jumping out window. the window. Window sill. Cracked window. Oh, I window, think cracked I window. Window. Wait, no. That looks like a kite now. I don't uh, know target. Where she's going with target you. on on your back. Kite flag. Kite. A British flag. UK. Kite. England. Kite. Um, Wait, does she have London. London. That I think. London. Wind, wind kite. Kite surf. This is not. Gun? How kite. is this? Shoot gun. Kite gun. War. Uh, wheels. What? Wheel a gun, gun on wheels. wheels going to London. Gun wheel what? seven. Kite. That kid. Uh, 007. James Bond. A spy. Secret spy initiative. Spies, lies, and allies. You got it. it. Told me you got it. It was spy. Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, I'm sorry because yeah, I know the answer because I told it and we. Li I'm literally like, does she have the right That's code word? I what got it. What Warner. were you drawing at first, Big T? Yeah, what, what were you drawing? England, flag of England, James Bond's gun, and 007. Uh, I just. That's why we were a good partnership. Here. The here we go, Big T. Oh. Next season, Pictionary. <laughs> you better all vote for me. I know, God. <laughs> well. 
you guys. That would mean that Big Tommy is the winner. He's clean Big sweeping. Tommy. You killed it. You killed clean it. Big Tommy sweeping. is the winner. The other Big T is the yep, winner. You. And you have won bragging rights. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what do you win? Play skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so glad you guys were here. Welcome to the Aftermath and the Challenge family. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining, and thank you all for watching another episode of The Challenge Aftermath. I'm your host, Devin Simone, and be sure to check out all new episodes of The Challenge Spies, Lies, and Allies. Oh. Just don't draw it like Big T did. <laughs> Wednesday nights only on MTV. Now, before you go, here's a sneak peek of episode four. You're beautiful, kind, and cute. In this challenge house, we are y'all in the wild. Today's mission is undercover comms. There's some real spy right here. Come on, bro. That's f***ed up. The veteran alliance is literally crumbling. Oh, yeah.